Notepad is not a game engine. In fact, Notepad is one of the most basic text editors that you ever see on this planet. You know, white background, black text, one of the most minimalistic looks that you ever see in any text editors. But how am I going to use Notepad as a game engine? Well, first of all, Notepad works in a very weird way where it can handle basically any text that you give it to it. Is it CSS, TXT, basically anything that you throw on it. So I'm going to be making a simple web game using JavaScript, HTML and CSS because it basically works the same way as like a traditional game engine like Unity. You just create characters and it works. And don't think this is simple because for a comparison, this is how long it takes me to create a character in Unity. And this is how long it takes me to create a character in HTML. But why am I doing this? It's because as a child, I always believed that I needed the best tools to make the best game. But I want to prove my young self wrong because I don't think you need the best tools to make the best game. So... Well, I started by learning how to create the files in the first place which was never easy for me because i have never used html like this before i always use brackets and i've you know only used html once so creating the files was actually really rigorous but after creating the files everything went smoothly for me uh yeah i think i made a mistake um instead of creating the files using notepad itself i created text files which made the html not show up so it took me about 20 minutes to figure this out and try to fix it a lot of screaming was involved in this in this, in this section oh my god oh no no oh, shit but what type of game am i trying to make well basically the simplest game i can ever make because I don't want to waste time on this project. HTML on its own is confusing to me. And JavaScript, I feel like it's unnecessary. But the game I'm trying to make is basically a ball scrolls down a, a, a blocks according to the tutorial. Follow the tutorial. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and work on it for about 15 minutes. Then I'll come back and check in with you guys. I feel pretty optimistic about this project already. After about two hours on the project, I was already feeling down about the project. Okay, yeah, I think I'm actually frustrated at this shit. I've been working for about two hours and nothing is working. And the tutorial I'm using is just so confusing and annoying. I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. I think, I think, I think I'm a disappointment. I feel like a disappointment at least. I know this may sound so sappy. I don't, I don't care. I feel like a disappointment. This video is so mess. Uh, I'll come back to it when I have energy to do more work. I realized that I wasn't making the game to prove my young self wrong or to learn HTML. I was, I was making it because I wanted to make a YouTube video. And I left the project for about like a week or so. And then when I felt like I needed a chance to prove myself to my younger self, I decided to come back to the project. Okay, so I was just scrolling on YouTube, um, trying to find a tutorial that could help me in any way. I was already frustrated and shit. Then I just saw this tutorial by this one guy. I don't even know his name. His name will be in the description on the screen. Um, and I was I was like, whoa, this guy made a mo game with html5 like literally html5 i was literally about to give up i was shutting down my pc working on another project already then figured out this and i'm going to go back to the project <laughs> this is about to be insane <laughs> oh my god i'm going to prove my young self wrong i want to be the greatest everybody on the face shit i look around i feel like everybody is the fakers i make this every day and i'm impatient hoping one day i blow up from the basement statement the top is so vacant i don't need shit that i think is amazing waiting for my day when i'm playing sold out shows for a thousand faces hey give me that crown get in my way and you'll be put down it ain't your place all this my town if i want that shit then i'll get it right now i'm losing it the noose if it's some loose shit a stupid myth you choose to live or choose to dip you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift oh. yeah i failed again i don't think it's because 
I can't do it is because I'm just a novice at making games with HTML. So I'm not giving up. This is not my final word. I'll be back. Trust and me. Thanks to everyone that subscribed to my channel. It's pretty amazing that we grew from 25 subscribers to 87 in just a month. It's actually mind blowing. So yeah, thanks for subscribing. There's a new like animation. Don't forget to click it. <laughs>